Hi there. Today we're going to look at the 3 Series Mixed Domain Oscilloscope and how easy it is to decode an I squared C serial data bus. So firstly, I have my two measurement icons remaining from the previous test. Now there's a really cool, neat feature to get rid of those really quickly. So if I long press on any one of the badges, I have an option called Delete All Measurements. And there you have it. It's all gone. So now on to the I squared C. Channel one is my clock and channel two is my data. That's a really simple process on how to set up a serial decode. I press the bus button, select bus one. So immediately it sets up a standard in parallel. So if I just double tap bus one and then change the bus type, these are the different bus types that we have um, on the three series mixed domain oscilloscope. So we have CANFD, LIN, RS232, SPY, I squared C, etc. So I'm going to select I squared C for the purpose of this measurement. Uh, the clock is already set to channel one and the data is already set to channel two. So I don't need to change those, but I do need to adjust the thresholds to tell the oscilloscope the difference between the ones and the zeros. So the clock is kind of okay, 3.72. We'll just change the data, which we can change via keypad or even via the multifunction device A. As you can see, it's already started decoding. And we can see there the different data. If we want to look a little bit more in depth at the actual decode, we can bring up a results table. And we'll just open up the capture. And now you can see I squared C decoded with a couple of taps of the screen.